Um, what I can say is that uh, yesterday, yesterday morning uh, workers in the State Forest of Talara located uh, what we believe to be human remains in the forest area there, um, skeletal remains, and as a consequence of that uh, we've collected those remains and conducted a forensic examination of that area which is ongoing. Um, we've got scientific officers, officers on scene helping us process the remains and then remove them and also conduct a search of the forest area. It's obviously completely separate to... Uh... Yes. Yes, these remains have been there for some time. Okay. And are, you, are we talking um, a whole body of remains or just some remains? Or... Uh, no, it's only some remains, um, but I, I wouldn't like to go into the specifics of what we have located there. And the skull? Uh, as I said, we, we're investigating the location of some remains down there. Yeah. You may be aware, in September last year we located um, part of a body on um, uh, in adjacent to the Gympie area, which is not too far from where we've located these remains. Was that the, the body? Uh, the one in September was, yes. Do you think it's linked to that case? We don't know. We're, we're keeping an open mind about that. But what we would do is urge anyone with any information that may have seen people in the Talara State Forest, a couple of kilometres up the Kalula Coast Road from the intersection with Tin Can Bay Road, who may have seen anyone acting suspiciously uh, around that area, to call Crime Stoppers straight yeah. away. Sorry, and you still haven't identified the burnt torso that was found last September? The investigation in relation to those remains is ongoing. So how far from there is this, the new remains? I'm sorry, how far from where we located the, the last so? remains? Yeah. Oh, look, I can't give you the exact distance, um, but the, the other remains in September were located quite close to Gympie. Uh, these are closer to Tin Can Bay on the Kalula Coast Road. Um, just in terms of Chloe, are we 100% certain that she was abducted? Sorry, are we... 100% certain that she was abducted, is that like... No, no, that's the thing. I mean, if someone's got any information to that effect, please bring it forward. Um, we're hearing a, a lot of stories about this. Uh, what we need to do is to make sure that, that information gets to us so that we can pursue it. As I said, the avenues of inquiry that we have at the moment are entirely appropriate given the information that we have, uh, and our focus is, is clearly on locating the um, It's, I think, 36 hours on now or something like that. How brave are your fears? I mean, a sec seconds... Before you answer, if you just assume your original position yep. and the yep. Yep. Sure. Um, Look, certainly as seconds go by when a three-year-old is missing, uh, it, it's incredibly uh, traumatic for everyone involved. So as hours and hours go by, certainly um, our level of concern does um, significantly raise. But uh, we are remaining focused on what we're trying to do, and that's like, hey, Chloe. Thank you so much. Thank you. No worries. Thanks, guys. Thank you.